What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another 5M video. I just want to point out that I'm not a dev. I am self-taught and today we're going to be installing PS inventory on our 5M server. First thing you want to do is go to Project Sloth for PS inventory. All the links that I'll be using today will be in the description down below. You want to grab the latest version here. Once this downloads, you can open it up. You can remove that for a minute. You're going to open this up into your own folder. You're going to go into your server. The resources, and then we made this PS file yesterday or the other day in our last video. We're going to open this up because we are, we are using PS. So you want to grab this file, move it into here, you're going to rename it. You're going to take out all this stuff here on the end. That's all you need for now. And then while you're here, go into your resources or go back to your resources, go to QB and then find QB inventory. Inventory. We are going to delete this file because we do not need it. Head back to the PS inventory file. And then we're going to run this SQL file. The way you do that, you open up Heidi. Could just double click on it, but I'm not going to. Do it the simple way. We're going to open up our database. We're going to hit this load SQL file. Which you find the resource that, and then we will hit run. And you hit yes. All right. Once you're done with that, open up your Visual Studio's code. And here at the very top, we're going to hit file, add folder to workspace, and then we're going to find our resources, and we're just going to add this. This will just make it easier in the long run. So. If it doesn't pop up, you're going to hit uh, left control B and it'll open and close this window here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to find everything that is QB inventory. So we're going to hit the search bar here. We're going to type in QB inventory. And we're going to replace it with PS inventory. Once you have this right here, you're going to hit this little button right next to it where it says replace all. Ta-da. Kind of do its thing. And then now we are done with that. So here in the readme, Go back to the PS inventory, go to README. It'll give an example of what everything looks like. And it also gives you a walkthrough on how to do it, and it's just the same thing we're doing now. And then it also gives you the code for decay. So if you have something in your inventory, like a sandwich or water, and you want it to decay, this is the code here. And I will show you how to add it, but I will not be adding it to my server. So the way you do this, you open up your Visual Studios. And then you go to QB Core. Shared. Items. This is everything here. We will put this on... You can put it on anything. We are going to put it on a toasty. Just go to the end. And at the end of the description here, you're going to put comma. What was it? Decay. Delete. Okay. 
put DK equals, and then however many days you want until it's decayed. So you want it five days, one day, you know, 20 days, and you hit comma again, then you will do delete. And then you'll do equals true. So what this means is it, it'll take 20 days for your thing, whatever you want to decay, to decay. And then once it decays, it will automatically delete from the inventory. And then you set file save. And you're done with that. But as I said, I will not be putting this in my server. If you look back in the readme, we're actually going to change this logo right here. This is the default logo, so I'm going to show you how to change that. So go here to Pixlr. The link is actually in the description below. Got new. I want to change the height and width to 150 by 150. Go hit create. At the top here, you'll hit layer. Add image layer. And then I already have mine over here. So we'll open this. We'll resize this to fit. We'll hit save. We want to save it as a PNG. You want to make sure it is transparent. Put this here as the logo. Sorry. And then the next thing you want to do is convert it from a PNG to an SVG. Also, the link will be in the description. So choose file from device. We'll do the logo, uh, logo inventory that we just did. Convert to SVG and then we will convert. And then you'll go into your PS inventory into HTML and images. We will add that SVG image that we just did into here. What you'll do is you'll copy the name here. Just highlight it, control C. And you'll go back into PS inventory, HTML, and then the UI HTML. We'll open that with Visual Studio's code. And around line 54-ish, it'll tell you the logo right here. But yeah, it was 54. Here's the logo. PS yeah, symbol, we are actually going to highlight this. We are going to change it to logo inventory. Then we'll hit file save. And now you can restart your server and I will see you on the inside. And right, now that we are in our server, you hit tab for inventory and it looks so much cleaner. That needs to be changed. So that's our logo we just did and I did one without a transparent background so I will be changing that. My mistake, I have like 45 pictures of this and they all do different things, different sizes. So that's just my mistake. I'll fix it later. So over here, this is now your hotbar one through five. You can move things around. So when this here is at zero, you can move the whole stack. See, there's three in here. If you put a number in here, so we'll say two. Now you're moving different items. If there's a number in here, you cannot stack the one onto the two. So you have to put it back to zero or stack the correct amount to be a stack again. If you hit the settings cog here, that you can blur the background or unblur it. 
So you see nothing's blurred? I like mine blurred. It looks good. Oh, one more thing. When you're in the, when you're in the inventory, if you drop an item. So it leaves that little arrow there. So something's there. You can either keep it like that or you can change it by going back to the uh, server file. Go to PS inventory. And then to the config file. Through here, you can do your different adjustments of different items. I guess I can do a quick breakdown of all this. So right here, you can have a progress bar if you, if, you, if you want it to be a progress bar when you open your inventory, which I do not. I think that's dumb. And I'm actually going to increase my inventory weight to 300,000, which is a little more, it's like two and a half almost. Uh, so right here, use item drop. Change this to true. Because what that is, is that it'll drop a backpack, which shows something there. Because I don't like that arrow, personally. So now your vending machines will work. Uh, it will show you what's in here. There's a set of ones that are two. I think it's like squirt and crush or something. Then some water. Now you have all, you also have crafting options. So you can craft uh, lock picks and screwdrivers and all sorts of fun stuff. You can just add more to it if you want. Um, what you would do, you just come to the end here. You'll grab from this comma all the way up to the number. Copy it. And then paste. You'll just change this to the next number. You'll change this to whatever you want it to be. Um, craft. I don't know. Craft nitrous. Oh, uh, we'll do the amount. We'll just take five. This is what it's going to cost to craft nitrous. We'll take 50 iron, 50 steel. You can change these to whatever you want. So, uh, we'll do iron for the canister. We'll do... There's... We'll do aluminum oxide. And we'll say, we'll say like one of these. Um, and then we can actually delete these if we wanted to. We don't need them. So 50 iron and one aluminum oxide will create nitrous. It's an item. It'll be in slot 13. And then this is how many points you need. You gain rep for crafting. Uh, you need 12 points to be able to craft this. So as you craft items, it'll give you, it'll, you'll gain points. Sorry, I said that backwards. You'll gain six points, but you need 160 to craft. So each one will have a different threshold. So in order to um, produce nitrous or create nitrous, you need 1,750 points. And then cre creating nitrous will give you 12 points. In the same way here with weapons crafting, uh, you see the same thing, weapons, items, you know, scopes, uh, different weapons, magazines, drums, whatever you needed to do, suppressors. And this is, so this is what you're going to be making. This is the amount that are currently in the inventory, and these are the items that you need to craft it. This is the slot that it's in. This is how many points you need to do it. This is how many points you will gain by doing it. Now, we restart our server. Now that we're back in our server, we drop our items. Now it puts a bag on the ground. So you can either uh, left alt, in third eye, open the bag. Or you can stand next to it. Oops. Or you can stand next to it and hit tab. 
I'll see what's on the drop items or whatever your inventory is. That's that. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. It's free to do so, so why not? If you didn't like it, subscribe anyway and let me know down in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video.